I'm in some painful, debilitating pain right now because it's, it's hard for me to walk. You know, it's hard for me to exercise. To think about being my age and having some of the same problems that a 75 or 80 year old man has, uh, no, I never considered that. You know, I was having severe leg pain and, and back pain. And I found out it was strictly from the injury from years ago. If you think back, you played, you know, the money really wasn't that great. You played for your team. An injury to one is an injury to all. We are one team, really. We are. The pre-93 guys have uh, sub-poverty pensions. When I go and go out for insurance, medical, it's going to cost me an arm and a leg. So every penny that I've earned is going to go to a, a hefty premium to cover me. Preconditions. You know, his, his knees and his shoulders that have been operated on aren't going to be covered because it's a precondition. Most of the guys from the years in which I played or uh, some with uh, dementia, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's. This is a serious issue. Families are affected. People are becoming homeless, living in shelters. Do you not see a problem with that? The Super Bowl winning safety Dave Durson took his own life, convinced that the despair he faced was caused in part by the damage he suffered on the football field. Number 52 went into the Football Hall of Fame as one of the greatest centers to ever play the game. But what we couldn't see on the field was what was happening underneath his helmet. He was the first modern athlete to be diagnosed with repetitive brain trauma, a condition that would eventually take his life. Well, this right here is just an example uh, of some of the forms that I had to deal with, with the NFL care plan. Um, and there's more to this. This is just some of them. Um, and dealing with the gridiron grates, it was pretty much this, and they got it done. One of my friends said, man, contact the gridiron grates, maybe they could help you. And not only did they help me, they got me on my feet. We have the ability to put the patient into the program almost immediately, and by doing that, we can get them feeling better quickly. They, you know, explained to me about, you know, we don't give you the money directly, but we pay your bills. They stepped up to the plate and said, hey, you know, you don't have to worry about that. We'll get it done for you. They were right on it. They got me down here. They got the process started, uh, got medication, uh, got some, uh, some work done, got some injections. Things started improving. Understanding, though, that you're treating a person. Okay, and we have to make sure that they understand what our goal is for them and that we're on their side. What we're doing is right. We've created a tremendous amount of awareness. We're not perfect, but we're right in what we're doing, and it's a never-ending battle to raise money. Working with the Gridiron Greats is it's very easy, uh, but more importantly, it's very rewarding. It's rewarding to give somebody their life back to give them the ability to live again. It means a lot to us to be able to, to intervene in somebody's life like that and, and hopefully get them at least back towards getting on their feet again.